Disciples in the Moonlight. It came out last week in theaters. I went and saw it with my wife. We were the only two people in the theater who were watching this movie. And I think that's probably indicative of how my review is going to go. So let's just get into the premise of it and why I have a problem with it. Number one, the premise of this movie is like the near future in the United States when the Bible has been banned and a new politically correct version has been released. I understand the heart of the writers, producers, directors of this movie in wanting to bring attention to the fact that there are Christians in the world right now who live in countries, live in places where the Bible is illegal. But I think if they wanted to do that and really draw in American audiences, I think it would have been better to actually make this a movie about smuggling Bibles into one of those countries, rather than coming up with this scenario in the U.S. and just using fe people's fears and uncertainties and doubts, FUD, in order to draw them in. I think that would have been a better um, point. It's very gospel-centered, very gospel-oriented. This is not a movie you're going to bring your friend to who's not a Christian. They're going to probably look at this and laugh, to be honest with you, because just the premise is so unbelievable right now. I know that in the current political climate, this probably seems like a real situation to some people, but I can almost guarantee you that that's not going to happen within the next hundred years. Okay, maybe I can't really guarantee you, but I doubt it would. The acting in the movie is okay. It's on par with what you would expect with a Christian film or what you would see on a made-for-TV movie. With one exception, I really feel like the bad guy was just kind of overacted and tried too hard to be a bad guy, tried to make it obvious instead of kind of just being like, hey, I'm doing my job and I'm going to go and get these people who are illegally trafficking Bibles in the United States. This is kind of billed as an action film, but there's very little action in the movie. I found myself kind of leaning over to my wife at times and making comments about it. And it just didn't feel as fast-paced as it could have been. I think they could have cut off about 30 minutes, if not even more, from this film. They probably could have cut this down to about an hour and a half. And it would have felt like it was more action-packed because the action scenes would have been closer to one another. So, I mean, overall, I guess I would give this movie a C. Um, like I said, I understand the intent of the writers and the directors of this movie and the producers in wanting to shine a light on the fact that the Bible is illegal in places. But I really think that could have been better communicated if it was done as a movie about actually getting Bibles into those places where the Bible is illegal, rather than coming up with this fictitious near future scenario where the Bible is illegal in the United States. So if you've gotten this far, you've probably noticed that this is a different format for movie review on my part. I've decided to drop the grid. Uh, you know, I am not a student of film, so I decided I'm just going to come on here, tell you what I think about the movie, and move on. Makes it easier for me, uses up less of your time, and then I can get in here and review more movies in a with this kind of shorter direct format. So I'm John from Jesus Flicks. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back next time with a review for you.